Tom Olive Brushless and Tom Olive Lather Shaving Cream presents Inner Sanctum Mysteries, starring Mary Astor. Good evening, friends of the Inner Sanctum. This is your host, Raymond, welcoming you through the squeaking door. Well, we're having a gay musicale here tonight, featuring, of course, only haunting melodies. But I'm afraid none of the performers will get a hand unless it's a cold one. You see, it's so hard to applaud after rigor mortis has set in. But uh, you can come in and uh, set in, too. There are plenty of seats available. And if there's nothing left in the orchestra, we can give you a box. (laughs) <laughs> Tonight's Inner Sanctum story, Melody of Death, is an original radio play by Robert Tallman and Robert Sloan and stars the famous movie actress Mary Astor in the role of Anne. It is directed by Hyman Brown. As Astor appears tonight through the courtesy of Metro Goldwyn Mayer, men, Inner Sanctum Mysteries, ask you to shave with palm olive brushless and palm olive lather shaving cream. Either palm olive brushless or palm olive lather shaving cream gives you the cleanest, most comfortable shave you ever had, free from razor burn, or mail the carton top to us and we'll refund your money. Have you a little gypsy in your home? One with a gold ring in his ear and a magic violin in his hand? Well, if he's anything like a fellow named Enrique, don't let him play an encore of the melody of death. Like a spidery web floating in midair, death hangs over the room where Anne is talking to her beloved David. Ghastly white, she summons the last ounce of ebbing strength to speak to him of love. Don't leave me alone here, David. I'm afraid. Just hold me in your arms. In a few minutes, it'll all be... David, what's that on your hand? Blood. How did you get... Oh, yes, I remember now. The cat. The cat with the yellow eyes. And the music... It was the music that started the whole thing, wasn't it, David? I remember now. That evening in Dubo's cafe, Henri, the gypsy violinist, came over to our table. Senorita is very happy this evening, no? You don't need your gypsy magic to tell you that, do you, Henri? The senorita is going to be married, no? You got it. Play for us, Henri. You know the tune I like so much. Los Infelices? Yes, that's the one. Oh, I'm sorry, senorita. I cannot play that melody for you. Not this evening. Why not? You will say it is foolish gypsy superstition, perhaps, but... In my tribe, it is believed that for a girl newly betrothed to hear this music is bad luck. Very bad. What kind of bad luck? Because if she hears this music at such a time, she will never stop hearing it. It will haunt her from from that time forward. And her heart will follow the music. And she will do what the music bids her to do. Even kill her lover. If the music tells her to. Well, I'll take a chance on that, Henri. Very well, then. I will play, but I never say Henri did not warn you. Ed. What is it? That cat. Watching from the doorway. Look at its eyes. Yellow eyes. Darling, you're so strange this evening. Something wrong? Something is terribly wrong, David. The music and that cat watching from the doorway like... Like death. Anne! Take me out of here quickly, David. I'm afraid. Well, of course, darling. 
I'm sorry, David. I, I couldn't help myself. I felt I had to get out of there. I'd... You'd what, darling? And what's happened to you? Why do you look at me so strangely? I don't know. I keep thinking of what Alric said about that melody. It was bad luck for me. But I would never stop hearing it. It would haunt me and I would do its bidding. Even kill. And stop it. Get a hold of yourself. I'm tired, I guess. You'd better take me. away from the cafe that evening. I was like a person in a hypnotic trance. I kept hearing that melody in my head. You will never stop hearing the music. It will haunt you. No. No, I won't listen to it. Even kill your lover if the music tells you to. No. I love David. You'll help me to forget. No one can help you now, Anne. yellow eyes watching from the doorway like like death I fought it fought it with all my strength but it was no use the music called me irresistibly back to that dingy little cafe to Henrique and to the cat with the yellow eyes the cat that belonged to Lugos, a man I had never seen. He has come back. I knew you would. It was the music, wasn't it? The music told you to come. How, how did you know? You did not tell you it would be so. The other night, when you told the legend about that melody, something happened inside my head. And when you played it, it sounded so strange to me. And after that... You hear it all the time? Yes. I thought if I could hear the melody played again, maybe it would lift the spell. I'd do anything, anything to stop this thing that's torturing me. What do you know about torture? You hear music in your head. What do you know what it means to hate him until your, until your stomach turns inside out from hatred? And to work for that man and have him watch you every minute. And when he's not here, that cat of his, that devil of a black cat, watching me with those yellow eyes. Why do you hate Lubo so much? Why do you hear music in your head? Who can tell about these things? There are devils in both of us. I will help you kill your devil if you will help me kill Lubo. You're mad. You don't know what you're saying. He lives in a ruined house. The address is 117 Green Street. Take the cat with you and tell the druggist you want chloroform to get rid of the cat. Where is they? The janitor will let you in. Stop it. Stop it. I won't listen to any more of this. The music will tell you when it is time. The melody. Remember. No, no. I won't listen to it. I won't. I won't. But you are listening to it, aren't you? You can't help yourself. And you will do what the music tells you to do, won't you? No, no, I won't. What is the music telling you to do? To kill the bird. And you will do it, won't you? can I do for you? Uh, a bottle of chloroform, please. Yeah, that's a handsome cat you've got there, miss. It's a shame you're putting him out of the way. It, it has to be done. He has a stomach infection, quite incurable. Yeah, well, those things will happen. Here you are, miss. That will be 38 cents plus tax. Put the chloroform in your purse, now, Anna. Hurry along now. Over there. He's asleep in there now. The man you're going to kill. Who's that? 
I'm looking for Senor Lubos. I've brought his cat home. I live next door to the cafe and... All right, all right. He's the first door at the top of the landing. Don't make no more noise on the stairs and you can help. You see, uh, how simple it is. That's right up the stairs. Wait now. Before you open the door, the bottle of chloroform. Get it ready. That's it. Now... Such a nice sound. Listen. Why do I like the sound? Because it reminds me of painful, scratchy razor burn. Men, when you torture your face with razor burn, don't just blame your razor blade. Instead, try Plumoly Brushless. That smooth, easy to spread, won't clog your razor shave cream. You see... Palm Olive Brushless is made with real olive oil to literally lubricate your skin so your razor just glides along with no tugging, no scratching, no scraping. Yes, mister, even the toughest beards lie down and wilt when you use Palm Olive Brushless. And your face is cool, comfortable, younger looking, not a bit drawn or dry. So why don't you quit bothering with a shaving brush and try Palm Olive Brushless? You buy Palmolive Brushless in the big money-saving victory jar, and we'll guarantee you the cleanest, most comfortable shave of your life. And we know you'll sing goodbye forever to painful razor burn. All right, friends, let's get back to that song that murders them. You remember how it goes? Remember how it haunted Anne into committing murder for Enrique? Well, it's still haunting her. And she's telling David about it in that room where death and this melody hover me. Yes, I was a murderer. I had plunged a knife into a man's throat and stood there watching while he died in agony. Then went calmly home. You were waiting outside my door, dear. Anne, where have you been? Out. But Anne, the dress and your gloves. Why, David, it it looks like... It looks like blood, Anne. And it is blood. But I don't... Where did it come from? You mean you don't know? Oh, maybe it was on the seat of the taxi. Maybe somebody cut themselves in there before I... Maybe the driver had carried an accident case to the hospital. But why should you follow me into my flat in the middle of the night and cross-question me like this? What right have you? Maybe you've forgotten that this was our wedding day. I waited at City Hall until I was thrown out. Oh, wedding day. Oh, David. What happened, Anne? Well, I, I don't remember exactly. Don't remember? You know, that tune has been running through my head. This morning it got suddenly worse. I was desperate about it. I thought maybe if I went back to Henri and heard it played again, I might be able to get it out of my mind. Well, what happened? Yes? What is it, Anne? Music. That melody. Don't you hear it? I don't hear anything. Lubos was murdered a little while ago. 
A woman wearing a navy blue suit and white gloves went up to his room on the pretext of taking his cap to her. She tried to chloroform him, and failing that, she stabbed him in the throat with his own knife. No, no, I couldn't have done a thing like that, David. I... There it is again. Can't you hear it? And there's nothing to hear. It's just in your mind. I don't know what happened tonight, and I don't want to know. But one thing is certain. This man has you under a hypnotic spell. We've got to fight this thing somehow, this music you hear. Be quiet, David. He's trying to tell me something. He's trying to trap you, Anne. He's going to make you remember that you killed Lubos. You'd better kill him too, Anne. Before it's too late. Oh, no. Not even for the music. Not even the music can make me do that, Henri. Anne, what are you saying, Anne? Oh, it's all right. Gone away now. It was trying to get me to kill you, David. Oh, Anne, darling, what has he done to you? David, it's, it's the music. Then why did you say Henri just now when you were talking to, to the music? I don't know. It's the music that talks. But it's always Henri's voice and... Did Henri's voice tell you to kill the boss? Yes. I remember now, David... Yes, even buying the chloroform. But I don't feel guilty. You aren't guilty. Now, look, do as I tell you, Anne. Take off these clothes and burn them. I'm going to lock you in here. If you hear the music again, fight it. Fight it with all your strength. I'll be back here in an hour. And when you see me come in that door, you'll know that that music of yours has been silent forever. Where are you going, David? To kill Henri. <coughs> So you have come to kill me because I've put hypnotic spells on your beloved. <laughs> Excuse me, what a joke, senor. No joke, Henri. A man was murdered a while ago by you. I thought it was proven that Lubos was murdered by a woman. Besides, I was playing my violin in the cafe at the time of the murder. While Anne, under your hypnotic spell, was doing your dirty work. Nonsense. He was stepped in the throat with a knife belonging to Manuela Rosales, a gypsy woman with whom he had quarreled. Do not worry, my friend. I've, I've composed a new melody. Would you care to hear it, senor? Uh, go ahead, Henri. I'm listening. You must look at me while I play. Look at my eyes. It makes me play better. Well, what's the idea? What do you want me to do? Kill her. Kill your fiancé. Stop it. Stop it. Or I'll... Uh, oh. I am under the spell of your music, Henry. I'll choke the music out of your soul. Help me or will you? Uh, you are making uh, a terrible mistake. A terrible Where is your your music now, Alric? So now that Alric is dead, we can go back to what we were before. We can be married. That's what you're trying to say to me, isn't it, David? Why not, Anne? Why not? Because when you opened the door and came back into this room a few moments ago, music was still playing. It's not playing now, is it, Anne? Is it? No, not now. Oh, David, take me in your arms, darling. Tell me it's all right. Tell me again so I'll really believe it. Oh, Anne. It was just a bad dream, wasn't it, David? They never really existed, did they? Henri and Lubos and the cat with the yellow eyes. Of course not, darling. Of course it was just a dream. <laughs> David! It's all right, darling. I see it too with the black cat. Oh. He followed me home. Uh, you see, it's really quite friendly. Go ahead, darling. Pay him. All right, David. There, that's it. You see, it's... 
Just an ordinary cat. Yes. Yes, of course. Take the letter opener, Anne. The letter opener on the desk. Go and get it. Yes, of course. And you're not hearing it again, are you? Anne! Is that the music again? Oh, no, David. It's just I've been crying so much. I think I'd better fix my makeup. Be a darling and bring my purse, will you? It's in the bedroom in the top drawer of the bureau. Oh, sure. Now, back in a sec. Now, Now take the letter opener and follow him. That's it. Quietly now. He mustn't hear you coming. His back is turned. He's still rummaging in the bureau drawer. <laughs> but poor fool. Now, and now... Anne, put that knife away. No, David, it's no use. I can't find it any longer. I must kill you. Anne, go there. Ah! Oh. Oh, oh, David. David. Anne, darling, speak to me. I didn't mean to do it. I tried to grab your arm. That's all. The point of the letter open, it turned and... It's all right. I'll give a doctor. Oh, no, David. Please don't leave me. It's better this way. If I lived, I'd... I'd have to kill you. The music would make me do it. There might be others. Yes, David. It's better this way. Oh, Anne. Anne. It was the music, David. The music. A melody more beautiful than life itself. Listen to it, David. Melody of death. of melodies, I want that little number for our concert we're giving in the lower chamber of Music Society of Inner Sanctum. As a matter of fact, I want Enrique to fiddle around, and I want... Oh, see, si, Senor Shaving Cream, what is it you want? I want lots of lather. I want lots of lather. Okay, you men who use a brush when you shave, you want lots of lather. And you'll get lots of lather simply by using Palmolive Lather Shaving Cream. For an honest whisker wilter, millions of men say there's nothing like it. In fact, more men use Palmolive Lather than any other kind. Here's why. First, Palmolive Lather Shaving Cream gives lots and lots of lather. He-man lather with millions of moist bubbles to blitz your beard. Second, Palmolive Lather is made with olive oil and oil from the coconut palm. To lubricate your razor, speed your shave, smooth your skin. So, if you're a lather and brush user and want to get rid of razor burn, get Palmolive Lather for the smoothest, easiest shave you ever whistled your way through. Get Palmolive Lather Shaving Cream, knowing it's going to leave your face looking younger, your skin smoother, your disposition better, or your money back. <laughs> Friends, what would you do if you found out that someone you knew was peddling stolen merchandise? You'd be horrified. But uh, tell me something. Have you ever bought extra gasoline coupons or accepted them from friends? Have you ever bought gasoline without giving up coupons? Ah, well, you know what I'm thinking. That makes you a receiver of stolen merchandise. And that is a serious offense. Yes, friends, every precious drop of gasoline we can spare is needed for our armed forces. People who buy gasoline without surrendering their own coupons are getting more than their fair share of the fixed civilian supply. So play square with gasoline rationing. Use only the coupons issued to you legally. So, friends, by the way, the latest Inner Sanctum mystery novel is The Moon Was Red by Dana Sage. Oh, now look here. Here's a calling card and a confirmed appointment for next week's Inner Sanctum Mystery. That dapper demon of deviltry right from Hollywood, Adolf Manjou, to suavely and smoothly scare us right over, out of our uh, <laughs> Inner Sanctum. And now it's time to close the squeaking door until next Saturday. 
When palm olive brushless and palm olive lather shaving creams bring you another inner sanctum mystery. Until then, good night. Pleasant dreams. What is the 14-day palm olive plan? Yes, what is the 14-day palm olive plan? It's the biggest beauty news in years. Doctors tested this plan, proved it brought lovelier complexions to two out of three of all the women tested. Here it is. Wash your face with palm olive soap. Then massage for a full 60 seconds with palm olive's beautifying lather. Then rinse. Do this three times a day. Easy to do, yet 36 doctors prove this palm olive plan brings a lovelier complexion to two out of three women. No matter what type of skin you have, dry or oily, the 14-day palm olive plan works. So get palm olive. See what palm olive can do for your skin in only 14 days. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.